Okay, so setting up the constant velocity versus exact stop in uh, Mach 3 is pretty easy. It is on the general logic configuration page. And if you look for the motion mode, here is the constant velocity versus exact stop radio buttons. We're going to talk about exact stop first and then constant velocity. And then if you're in constant velocity, there's a couple options over here under CV control that you can set, including the CV angle of, and I've got it set for 90 degrees here, and the CV distance tolerance. These are in the units that you are using in your motion control setup. So in this case, two is two millimeters. You can play with that if you're in the Imperial uh, setup, but I'm using two millimeters in ex this example. Again, general logic configuration off the main screen and the motion mode here, constant velocity versus exact stop, and then two check blocks here are in, uh, discussed in this video. Okay guys, I'm going to demonstrate the difference between exact stop and CV using a couple different settings. This particular cut is our basic uh, comparison. This is with exact stop selected, which means you're going to see it stop at every um, corner as it goes around the cut. So here we go. So as you can see, each corner is an exact replica of what the cut file wanted us to do, stopping at each corner by decelerating, changing direction, accelerating until the next point, decelerating and stopping. Okay, on this cut, guys, we're just going to turn on the radio button, the CV radio button, with none of the options checked. So it's going to be pure constant velocity. Let's see how it cuts. fairly obvious here that it has rounded off those corners significantly. Probably not what most people want. Okay guys, on this constant velocity cut, I set the angle to 90 degrees. We're going to talk about that a little bit later, but let's see what it does for the 90 degree cut. Again, you can see some serious rounding on this cut, but you can also see that the angles that are less than 90 degrees, they cut on very sharp uh, corners. So again, uh, what most people aren't necessarily looking for. Okay, guys, on this final cut, I'm going to show you what Exact, uh, constant velocity looks like set at 90 degrees and 2 millimeter um, di distance tolerance. So let's see how it cuts. So you see on this cut, 
it's done a pretty good job of dealing with the angles over 90 degrees. It's a little bit of rounding, but it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good compromise. So there you have it guys, uh, constant velocity versus exact stop. Again, exact stop is going to be the most accurate reproduction of your G-code file, um, but it's going to be the slowest and a constant velocity is going to do a little bit better job in the corners and you can set the distance tolerance and the uh, angle that you want it to turn off constant velocity for to get the perfect cut. You're going to have to play with it. Some people use 89 degrees, some people use 90, and your uh, look ahead distance tolerance is going to be the key to the other angles. So hope this uh, video helped. Enjoy.